what's up youtube today we have this jeep cherokee this is a 2012 i'm gonna be showing you guys how to remove the water pump on this one it has a slow leak i actually put the pressure test and it wouldn't leak it started leaking after i took it for a test drive so be, be careful with that yeah, it looks like this one's actually brand new it has two months it's a two month old but it's leaking we got it from AutoZone. So we're gonna remove it. All right guys, so to start, we're gonna remove this air pump. This one is held by two nuts, size 10. you can just leave it like that for the belt we just need to release this uh, tensioner here Size 13, we're gonna remove this hanger pulley. We have another 13 right here. You can see it right here. Okay, so we have those two 13s, and the rest is gonna be size 10. And this one, this one is a size 16, 16 or 5 8. Before I remove the rest of the bolts, I'm gonna remove these hoses so it's easier to remove the hose. I'm just gonna use a regular plier. And make sure you have your water container and it. Now I'm gonna remove all the size 10 millimeter around the water pump. You guys have to be very careful because there's some spots where you have a small bolt and then some other ones where you have a long bolt.
is where the liquid was coming from this bottom part of the water pump. So let me show you guys where it's gonna be all the the long bolts is gonna be on the ones they have a spacer like this. The short ones go where there's no spacer. This one doesn't have a spacer. Here's the short ones and here's all the long ones. That's the order how they go. Mainly the short ones are gonna be on this part of the water pump and there's one short one on this side. We're gonna be putting a little bit of silicone. To open the silicone, you can use the same cap. And it's gonna be just a tiny bit around. Basically, all around where the gasket goes, that's where I'm putting. If you can see this, that's only where the gasket goes. I'm not putting, for example, here there's no wadding around here. And there's not even no gasket. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Now look at this guys, there's a little bushing, rubber bushing that goes that some of the bolts is gonna have. Like for example, this one doesn't have it because it got stuck inside here. So keep an eye on that, make sure you don't put uh, the bolt where, where there's already a bushing inside. To line up the gasket, you can use it, any bowl. I'm gonna be using this. You can use whichever you prefer. And I'm putting all the long ones up on this side. Underneath the pulley, there is one. 
That one is long too. Because even if you try to put the short one, it won't get thread because the thread is too deep inside. So right here, after I tapped the bolt with the impact, I went all around the bolt and do it by hand with the wrench. ¿Te acuerdas la el chicote que tengo para los es para estos? ¿Cuál chicote? Un chicote con una pinza. I didn't think I was gonna need it. Mm. Like, my last 17. Wow! Mira, mira, ¿te fijas esta como no está alineada? We have to make sure that it's all the way inside, así. Que esas líneas están en el frente. Ajá, tiene que alinear aquí, así. Por eso está así. ¿Sentimos cómo funciona? Sí, güey. You have to open the meter. This is connected to the upper radiator hose. You can see here, and you're using a flat head screwdriver. You turn a little bit, and you're gonna see. You're probably gonna hear air coming out and coolant coming out. Leave it open until you fill up the container. So just keep putting coolant on the radiator, and you're gonna see coolant and bubbles coming out of this meter. That's normal. Keep going, keep going until you see pure coolant coming out. You're probably wondering what I'm, why I'm using green coolant. This is what the customer brought me. He got me all the parts and just doing the label. And actually, he went to AutoZone and this is what they recommend for this Jeep Cherokee. I feel like this one should take the the red one, right? Leave it in the comments, guys. If you, let me know what coolant are you using. I'm still putting coolant, and I'm just waiting for the coolant to come out out of the bleeder hole here. Be 
station just keep putting cool on and you you're probably gonna be hearing air coming out once air stops that's when the cool on starts coming out so that's pretty much it on this video guys drive it let it cool off open the bleeder again open open the radiator and put more cool on it's very important these last steps if you don't um, if you don't bleed the system the car is gonna overheat so make sure you um, after you drive it and it doesn't overheat let it cool off open the bleeder valve and open the radiator and put more cool on make sure the system is completely full Basically, you just have to leave all the bubbles coming out. And if you water in bubbles, it has to be a straight water. Alright, guys, so we'll see you in the next video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. I hope you learned something today and try to be better every day.